Hello wonderful Blender 3D community, this is a quick video to tell you that I have updated um, all of the XSI mod themes for Blender to 83. Back when I became a Blender Foundation certified trainer, I immediately started to customize the user interface in Blender 279 onwards to adapt it to the XSI mod theme, which from now on in 2021 will be called the Soft Image theme for Blender and I decided to share it. Now previously I would do a blog post on my website and you will scroll down you'll read all about the the notes like for example it says here to go to page number two taken to the new page page number two and therefore you can see and read all of the uh, new changes for every version and this happens so for every Blender release now you can imagine all this kind of work I did uh, because I've submitted so many times, so many requests to update this um, XSI Build Ray 2, which is not the the final color version that I submitted. Uh, it's got all of these colorful things right here and there, and I don't know why it has not been updated. So if you open Blender and you go to XSI, you will see a colorful version and not the one that I designed which was basically updated also for Blender 283. As you can see, you can read all of all of that right here. Now, every time I release one of these themes, I took the initiative to share it for free on Gumroad. Why? Because whenever you download something in Gumroad, you have a free library to check out your downloaded items. And of course, you can also rank it here. And please do every time you uh, download something like this, if you do, um, if you feel that you would like to collaborate with the work I do and you want to show some appreciation like um, I did this entire video you can click here and here to go back and forth from these little buttons right here so you can see all of the new changes for this version and if you're feeling generous I would appreciate it a lot if you would at least donate something for the cause <laughs> or in case that you don't uh, because I understand everyone's uh, economical situation you are helping me a lot to to propagate this content whenever you rank it down here so I really appreciate it every time you download something from Gumroad my Gumroad which is gumroad.com slash 3D Cine TV and there you can see a lot of content that I create um, exactly for the purpose of uh, 3D training, especially with Blender and other visual tools. Like for example, this uh, Blender to Snapchat AR training video. It's got zero ratings, although people have, have downloaded. Um, it will be amazing if you can rank those things. Like this one, for example, has also been downloaded a lot of times. This has been downloaded like a gazillion times and it's only got one rating. So it really helps a lot whenever you download something and then uh, rank it there. But anyways, I decided to share every update I did for the Excite Blender theme and then you can read it. There are the um, links. But finally, finally, there is time to organize, to um, adequately organize everything I do for the releases of the Softimage blender theme and this is why i decided to come to github and create my own account and from here on you can finally find all of the instructions and all of the videos and everything you needed um, neatly formatted for you to read and download so how do you get the new updated themes from here on i will still be posting the blog post plus a video plus sharing it on gumroad but from here on, um, if you are very interested to know the, the legacy or if you want to know the history of the downloads and upgrades, um, you can come here to 3D Cine TV on GitHub and then you will find this Softimage theme for Blender. From here, uh, probably, uh, you, I don't know if you know this, but if you um, type that address and then you, go, you come to releases, okay? you're going to be taking into the releases pages which most of the time most of the time are going to be found right here on releases so this is um, the number of releases this theme currently have 
it's got three. So if you click there, you'll find the most recent at top and the legacy at the bottom. And like I mentioned before, this used to be called the XSI mod theme, okay? But from here on, it will be called the Softimage theme version 1.0 for Blender 279. 1.1 for Blender 282. Of course, I did the 280 version, but I cannot find it for some reason. And besides, uh, Blender 280 was like kind of unstable in some some things. So I found this one. That this is the one that I uploaded. And then the final version that we have is the Softimage team version 1.2 for Blender 283. Since we are on Blender 292 right now, this is going to be the next uh, release. Softimage Team version 1.3 for Blender 292. And I'm skipping 290, 291, and, and directly to 292 because I don't know if you know, during Blender 290 and 291 and 292, I have been working with the Blender V, which is a darker UI theme for Blender. Of course, this is also going to be... Um, uploaded into github into its own branch blender v darker ui because uh, there are new themable items in blender 292 and that is amazing and this is for the people who prefer to work longer hours or that they want their user interface similar to unity or to somewhat the gray tone of unreal engine or other dark UI um, interface, user interfaces like DaVinci Resolve. So anyways, you can check all of that in my blog. Please do not forget to visit 3dcntv.com slash blog. And therefore, you can find all of this information there. But the most exciting thing that I wanted to share with you is that you can now visit github.com slash 3dcntv and then you will see my entire profile, what I'm doing, and write down here all of the projects that I'm working on currently. If you click here, then you'll be taken into the Blender XSI mod theme, which has been renamed to Softimage Team for Blender. Okay, and please let me know what you think about it. Thank you very much.